satisfactory was changed forever with update 3, so we'll be changing too by building in a whole new world and starting our adventure anew. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory, where today we're starting Season 3 of the Let's Play in a brand new world in Update 3. Because Update 3 has fundamentally changed the game by adding pipes, completely reworking the tech tree, and changing almost every alternate recipe that was in the game. So that renders pretty much all of our old worlds irrelevant. Like, we'd have to literally destroy them all and rebuild them from the ground up. So we may as well just start again. And also, there's a new starting biome too, in the new desert! So a harsh starting point with large open spaces, vast distances, and very contained foliage locations. So, very difficult place to start. But of course, you better believe we're starting there. Because I want to see what's all new. And also, since the area is very flat, it'll provide an excellent place to build a mega factory. Which of course, is what we'll be doing. And also, so we can kind of get moving and grooving, we're going to skip the onboarding process and start the game at Tier 1. Because after almost a thousand hours, I think we know how a miner works. But anyway. If you're excited for this new adventure, remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to be uploading tons of new Let's Play episodes because this is like a whole new game now. But anyway, let's begin. Oh my gosh. I feel so isolated. So alone. Off in the desert. Oh, but our little feet sees track in the desert. Well, that's cool. And man, we literally just started in the middle of the desert. Like, there's nothing around at all. Wow. Okay. So that's cool. Luckily, though, we know a couple tricks. Since we did our little Update 3 recap video, which you can check out in the link in the description. Also, since we don't have the intro stuff, aha, uh -huh, we got a lot of cool stuff in our inventory. Like, we already have a bunch of miners, so... My dudes time to get to work and while they do their thing we have to deal with the enemies around because oh, this area is dangerous brother in fact we're probably gonna die quite a lot but that's okay we entered the danger zone and we have to accept that all right though number one we super want to build the hub like right in the middle here there we go so we don't lose track of our miners. And then also, things are so different because we have to get the MAM researched or built. How does that work now? Well, beast building's here. We need a lot of starting stuff. Conveyor list, productivity, field research. That's where the MAM is. So we need screws, like, right off the bat in order to get that. That's kind of oof. And okay, so we already have, like, tiers one and two. Good. So we get started with the good stuff right quick. The awesome shop. Oh, so many production things we're going to be doing with the awesome sink in the awesome shop. Let me tell you. Nifty. Well, with all of that, we are going to be able to do quite a bit. However, though, grabbing the miners here, grabbing the hub, and we are actually going to scoot. I want to head into this biome. There's obviously no plants around, so... <laughs> we can't really get biofuel going. So we have to go somewhere. So over here looks pretty neat. Also, I can already see a lot of nodes. And most importantly, we need to find coal nodes. Coal nodes are like the most important starting thing. Because coal power is the first automated power source, making it incredibly important. And we need water too, because we need water and coal in order to run a coal power plant. So this lake is going to be like super, super important, if there's coal around anyway. But first off, Mr. Slug, you can come with me, thank this you. This semi-slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings, which could potentially be retrofitted into fix-it technology. You better believe A it can be fix-it technology. Can be accessed in the MAM. The MAM. Once we get it, one step at a time, we got some little piggy piggies that are trying to bug us. Where'd he go? 
He's a ghost. Oh, no, there he is. Not a ghost. <laughs> or wait, I guess now technically he's a ghost. I don't know. Let's continue here. There's one place I really, really want to check out, which is the edge of the map over this way. Before the update, yep, there is a really cool beach. And I had a feeling there'd be something cool around here. So there's the coal, there's the water, huge flat area. Oh yeah, perfect, there's some iron too. And I think we got a good starting zone here. Is that iron or is that, is that Caterium? Might be Caterium, let's do a quick scan. It is iron. But only one iron node right in the beginning is pretty oof. So yeah, it's a nice little area, but we're not gonna go and settle down there. Uh, maybe we will later, and definitely we'll have a power plant down there. But instead, we're gonna go further north. There's a secret kind of oasis way deep in the desert, which will have more foliage for biofuel, and there's a body of water. So then if there's just another coal node there, then we can set up really well over there. Now as we're kind of scooting around here, I can tell you guys some of the plans I have for this Let's Play. Number one, all production in the game is completely changed now. Because with the resource sink, it can act as a void and we can dispose of items automatically. Like, forget about the tickets, just think about getting rid of items from a belt permanently. Like just that alone will allow us to make incredible new production setups, which I'm really excited about. Probably the most excited about. And then aside from that, since we don't have area actions anymore, and we're just playing in vanilla for the time being, and really focus in again on making cool looking bases, because we have all the tools in the world to do so now. And those tools won't cause super amounts of lag for us. So that's all good. But now that we're at the lake, uh, yeah, we just have to find a coal node. That is the super goal. Like literally one coal node and we're set. Please don't hold back. What's up with the farty plants back here? Nothing, they're just farting around. <laughs> Ah, uh, it seems so. Okay, we got some more water, we got some more iron. I'm not seeing coal. It's not good. But still, the area's looking pretty barren. No coal, nothing cool. Except for some weird arcs everywhere. Let me guess, there's gonna be like some really bad enemy in a loop? Or is this a cave? Oh no. Oh no, it's a cave. It's a new cave with a nice spike arcs above. Oh, yes. I really want to go down there. We're going to go down. Okay. So, I should really take that with me. Uh, no. No, we're going to die. I am near certain. Look, evil arc, little cave, big spiders. For sure. Uh, let's see what's up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it's just a laddie. Hello, laddie. What's going on? Oh, in a fart pit of death. All right, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Also, there is a thing. A Mercer Sphere. I want it. I want it. I don't get to have it. No. <laughs> uh, first death. But let's continue our adventure. I'll look around here for a couple more minutes for a little bit of coal. And I guess after that, we kind of have to park ourselves somewhere and get started. Ooh. Okay, well, didn't find coal, but there's another new cave system. And of course, you better believe we're going down there. I like the sliding mechanic, I'll be honest. I just want to go on the slip and slide. I don't care if we die. We've already had our first death. Let's go have our second. Yo, is this your house? Oh, oh my god, it was their house! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going in! Woo! <laughs> we did it! Oh, what the heck? Oh, oh, hey guys, what's going on? Spooky, spooky spiders, and we don't have a weapon. Just don't pay attention to them, kids. You'll be fine. And honestly, I don't want to grab that because I have a feeling I'm going to die once I leave here. Let me guess. Big oof thing? Wait, what? I don't know what just happened there, nor do I know where we are now. Oh, oh, we're there. Oh, and oh yeah, we can just like crouch. Huh, look at that. 
Neat. Alrighty though, I've kind of taken a look around this whole lake and I'm not seeing any more coal. So I'm gonna try and go as close to that beach with the coal over that way as I can and then we'll build our base over there. So I guess we'll end up having our base somewhere in these cliffs. We'll build out over into this way into the desert and then later on we'll make our first coal power plant down on the beach. And I think we have our spot. This is where our base is gonna be. Well, at least that's where it's gonna start out. We have a couple iron nodes over there. One in here, one pure. We have a copper node there. And two more over there. And we have a limestone node just out behind us. So, yeah, right there. And another one a little further out. And just to double check. Yeah, those guys. Oh, and these two are iron as well. Oh, that's actually even better. So we have one copper node and four iron nodes. Yeah, this is great. Five if you include that one. So let's start building. Let's start moving. Let's start grooving. We're gonna have our hub way up on the cliff here because it looks cool, obviously. And now from these humble beginnings, we will begin our new empire. And it shall be glorious. All right, though, luckily, since we skipped the intro stuff, we're able to build a couple miners right off the bat. So we'll get two iron miners going. One will produce iron rods, and one will focus on iron plates. All righty, and also, screws are available now. Were they always available from the get-go? I thought these were available after Tech 2. Maybe they're, no, I, yeah. You were not able to start out getting screws. So that's, Kinda neat. Yeah, a huge thing with this Let's Play here is we're gonna be learning the new tech tree. Like, everything's different now, so I, I don't really know what's going on. However, some things will still be the same. Like, we definitely want, like, the basics automated. Nice and quick here. Just like simple smelters, simple constructors, and all that kind of jazz. Please tell me we have more sheets. We do. Very nice. Alright, and yeah, we'll just make some wire here. Excellent. And then we get moving and grooving. Connect up our power. And our factory comes to life. Glorious. Oh, such humble beginnings. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, everything is spaced out insanely far in this starting area. So I do not have enough, like, uh, power poles, or, sorry, wire, or kind of like both, to get all the way out to our iron yet. So we're gonna have to kind of wait on that. So it's gonna be a slow start, but at least we have all this space. Like, space is so nice. I'd rather always have space than, um, than having nodes be close together. Ooh, but I'd also like it if recipes were kind of the same. So this is a huge change here, but one copper goes to two wire. It used to be a three wire to one copper. Okay, so wires be nerfed quite a bit here. Let's check out some of the other recipes. Anything else changed? Uh, 15 to 15, so a one to one, that's the same. Screws, oh! Screws are 10 to 40, or one to four. So this used to be one iron rod to 90 screws. So that's way different as well. Uh, let's see, what? Even the plates was changed. This is why we had to restart, guys. Everything, down to the most fundamental level in the game has been changed. Like, even the iron plates, like, it's three ingots now to two plates. So I think that's a better deal, because before it was just a two to one. So a three to two, I think gives us 30% more plates, if I'm doing the math correctly there. And aside from that, what about concrete? Did concrete ever get changed? 45 to 15, no, that's actually the same. Cables, two to one, yeah, I think that's the same as well and biomass, I'm sure, is the same. I don't know, I don't actually remember the biomass recipes off by heart. It's been too long, brother. It's been too long. Anyway, with all of that, we should be able to uh, scoot the power on down to our other miners, get some iron online, and then we're really cooking. And now strategy-wise, where do we want to go first? So logistics, pretty important. It's nice having conveyor mergers and splitters, lifts, the productivity display, Pretty neat. 
field research is incredibly important because of the ma'am and might actually be the most important thing we need. Then again, we can actually just store a lot of our stuff. Yeah, we can't really research much right off the get-go anyway. Maybe it's not that important. Then what is? Oh yes, definitely part assembly. We need assemblers immediately. No, actually, I think we're gonna need solid fuel, or solid biofuel, and the chainsaw. Because now that there's pipes in the games and waterworks and all that kind of stuff, we're gonna be stuck in this kind of biofuel part of the game for quite a while. So we're gonna wanna automate that, we're gonna wanna get the chainsaw, brother, and we're gonna wanna chop down the world. But we need so many items. So I guess then, for now, I'll just kind of passively wait for stuff to kind of gather up. I'll build a few more like power plants, just like biomass burners, and we'll kind of just stock up on supplies. Okay, now actually waiting around is very inefficient. Uh, let's actually do something rather important. We're gonna automate ourselves some cable here. So there's another copper node way over there. But we just bring it on down right to a bin right beside our wire. So we got cable there, wire there. Uh, I got some concrete and moving and grooving just over this way. Because for the space elevator, we need a trillion concrete and it takes forever to make. So at least that's going. And now we kind of have a bit of a lull. However, in this lull, there's something really, really handy that we can do. Uh, slide around, of course. <laughs> but actually, no, we want to look for drop pods. Well, that's kind of weird, you might be wondering. Why would you want to look for drop pods? It's not like we can really effectively use any of the alternate recipes yet. And you would absolutely be correct. We actually don't care about the hard drives. What we really want is the salvage from around the drop pods. They'll help us out immensely moving forward. So we don't have to do as much handcrafting. And you know, it's something to do while we wait for items to kind of produce at our base. All right, so couple modular frames, not too bad. Couple screws, eh. And we don't have the power for that. So yeah, they could be a hit and a miss. This one, kind of a miss. But at least we got some modular frames. And it'll help out a bit. And also, I guess while we're over here, there is like a river next to this cliffside, which looks beautiful now, by the way. So maybe there's some coal nodes around? Copper, slugs, it's looking like iron. Oh my god. Oh, there is coal. Oh, now hold up. That can be important. Is it pure nodes? And how close is the water? The water, I think, is right near the trees, right? Oh. We might be onto something. Maybe, maybe. Normal? Yeah, okay. All right, it's not the best, it's not the worst, it's pretty normal. <laughs> and normal. Okay, so that's really good. That means we could have our coal generators all around this area. Oh, but then I don't think the water is deep enough to make a water collector around here. Eh, so maybe our area is a little bit better. And yeah, the area is just overall pretty beautiful. Just not as spicy. Alrighty though, we're back at base. And you know what? That trip was really good because we got like over a thousand screws. So that's gonna save us a lot of time too. We have 400 plates? Brother. That's amazing. And only, really, only 200 rods. Huh, looks like we kinda need a splitter and mergers and stuff. And yeah, we should be getting all that stuff pretty quick here. I'm actually going to be doing an 8 hour live stream over on Twitch before this episode comes out. So we'll kind of have a bit of a boop here, but we shouldn't get all too far ahead. Likely we'll just kind of go through like a lot of the basic stuff that's part of the ordinary game. And then we'll kind of pick up from there. Alright, well the 8 hour live stream is complete and progress has been made. And guys, do not panic, okay? But we got a little bit done. Just a little bit, a little bit. Eight hours is a long time. We moved, we grooved. But honestly, it isn't actually too much. Just things are organized into a nice starter base now. So from where we're at, where we just have like a miner to a smelter to a constructor, really all we do from there is we unlock a few essential techs and we organize. So we got the base building tech, so we can build walls and foundations. Logistics, so we have the splitters and mergers and conveyor lifts, most importantly. Uh, we got the ma'am, 
And we also got a few things in here, like part assembly, obstacle clearing, and logistics mark too. So now we kind of have, yeah, an organized starter base. So to quickly go over things, everything is divided into three floors. First floor being iron, second floor being copper, third floor being assemblers. And yeah, like I keep saying, it's actually pretty chill. So we have all of the iron coming up to here. We have four nodes now, one pure, one normal, and then two impure nodes that are combining into one line. And that goes into a variety of smelters. Uh, we balanced out everything so that all the smelters lead into constructors. It is one iron smelter per one iron plate constructor. So those are going well. Then we got ourselves quite a few, what are these? Yeah, iron rods going. And some of the iron rods are going into a bin while others go into uh, screw constructors. And of course that makes screws. Like again, it's really simple. It looks like a lot, but it's pretty basic stuff. Uh, one thing I will mention, which is quite handy, is that 60 iron ingots go into four constructors for the iron rods. And from the four iron rod constructors, that goes into six screw constructors, okay? So two smelters, four constructors for the iron rods, and six screw constructors. And that'll make you two 120 belts of screws. Easy peasy. Then for copper, it's pretty much the same deal as well. We have three copper nodes that we're pulling from. So that is six smelters. And then for wire here, we have one smelter going into two constructors, and that makes 60 wire per minute. The 60 wire per minute goes into one constructor for cable. That makes 30 cable per minute. Easy peasy. Then we have more constructors going for wire, except that wire just goes into a box. And then over here, it gets a little spicy because we're making the new copper sheets. I keep forgetting what it's called. But the ratio we kind of figured out for that is 160 line of copper goes into the two smelters. And from the two smelters, that goes to three copper sheet constructors. And that's kind of the ratio there. Uh, we did that twice. So now we have a 60 line of the copper sheets and that is doing pretty much nothing. I uh, will be using this for pipes very, very soon. And then finally, we have the top floor where we have some basic assemblers rocking and rolling. So we have two assemblers making some reinforced iron plates, two making rotors, and then uh, two over there that are making us some modular frames. And then this one spicy boy that's making the new smart plating. So this takes one reinforced plate and one rotor at a time. And yeah, we need that for the first stage of this base elevator. And um, we're making them very, very slowly. They're tough. And all that we have in this factory right now, it's like organized, it's good, but it doesn't have a lot of oomph to it. We need Mark II miners, we need many more belts, we just need so much more. Which goes back to what I said, it's like we have a lot, but it's not really. Like we're only just barely able to run a few assemblers. Aside from that, uh, we have a bunch of garbage over in this direction. Mainly, we have a ton of constructors that are processing logs and leaves to turn into the bio, the solid biofuel it's called? Yeah. And that goes into just a plethora of biomass burners. And then tucked in the back there, we just have some concrete being made. So we can build more of our base. And that is everything. That took all of eight hours. And it didn't even get us that far. Which is why I kind of booped it out. And also, we've done these steps before. Like, nothing much here is new. However, if you do want to check out the eight hour live stream that I built all this in, it is available on my Twitch page as a VOD. So, it's free for you to check out. But with all that done now, we can easily unlock like the jump pads and the awesome sink and shop. And of course, get into building the space elevator, which will get us into coal, pipes, and all that fun stuff. However though, that'll all be for next time. And for now, I think that is gonna be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs>